So let's say we weren't given an epsilon value. You could still find a value, a greatest value delta in terms of epsilon. So as we knew from the previous part of this problem, the limit as x approaches 3 of f of x is equal to 2. So 2 minus epsilon must be less than f of x, and f of x must also be less than 2 plus epsilon. And if we substitute our function into the inequality, we get something like this. And we end up subtracting 2 from each part and cubing everything. So negative epsilon cubed is, like, is less than x minus 3, which is also less than epsilon cubed. And we're going to add 3 to each section and get something like this. So now we have our two x values that correspond to f of x values that are equal to 2 minus epsilon and 2 plus epsilon. In order to find the delta, all we have to do is find the distance between our x value of 3 and each of these new x values. So as we said before, it's symmetrical, so we can just choose either side. I'm going to choose this side. So delta is equal to epsilon 3 plus 3 minus our x value, which is equal to 3. So we're left with delta is equal to epsilon cubed.